Hi everybody and welcome to the art table. Today I'm going to paint this really cute little haunted house and I got it at Walmart. I think it was like six bucks something like that. They're cardboard. They have a couple different designs and I thought that I would get that and paint it for some fun. Fun paint. Here's today's mix for the haunted house. All my paints are mixed with three parts flow trawl. When I say flow trawl, I mean this. I get this at Menards or you can get it at uh, Home Depot type places. And I mix that. Actually, if you got a gallon of paint and you mix that in with your gallon, say you have 50% of paint and 50% of flow trawl, and mix those up and shook them really good, you could have two gallons of paint. It makes it last longer and it goes on the walls really easy. But anyway, back to my project here. Um, so all my paints are mixed with three parts flow trawl to one part paint and then after I'm stirring that up I add some Elmer's glue all for my bonding mixed uh, with a small splash of this gloss medium so I can make my medium for the paints okay so the mix today is I have this neon purple and then I have the iris purple Get that all the way here. And then I have two kinds of black mixed in one cup. I had the carbon black and then a gloss black. And mix that up really well in a cup. Then I poured each one a little bit at a time into my cup here and splashed some gold in there. So I'm going to turn another light on see if that helps. And got a little bit of that in there. Sometimes I think that other light gives me a little glare. There you go. <laughs> But anyway, it's pretty, isn't it, guys? And that's going to be my haunted house mix. And then I have some glitter. Might use it, might not. I don't know. I have to think about it. Okay, let's get started. So I've never done this before. So uh painted like a haunted house type of cardboard thingy. So let's uh, see. I don't want to paint like this to have all the paint go in the doorways. So I'm going to have to put some on top and move it around. And uh, just go one step at a time and have some fun with it. So what I did do, though, what you're looking at, uh, when you bought, when I bought this, it was just all this colored cardboard. And then what I did was I took it out into the garage at the table that I have out there, and I spray painted a clear um, spray paint over it like a clear matte medium that I had a matte finish and spray that on there just so when I do go to paint the regular paints and the acrylics will kind of slide off of the cardboard and not soak right in and then you lose some of that color it's not as bright or is the, the color doesn't show through as much as you'd like it to so that's why I put that on there first as a base it's almost like gessoing your paintings or whatever you got to give it a base coat and then I had this bright yellow and I splashed it with a bright yellow a little bit with the spray can and some hot pink that I had out there in the garage. Try to use up some of those uh, spray paints that I had. So like I said, I've never done this before. And uh, we'll see. We'll take it one step at a time. And let's have some fun, everyone. All right. So what I'm going to do is start off like this. I'm going to kind of set it up. And maybe uh, pour the roof. Let's see how that turns out. <laughs> well, it's kind of fun. So I'm going to, I guess it will come on out of there. I might have to make another cup. I hate that I'm losing all this paint. I'm not sure I'm getting everybody in the camera here. Look at that too, it's on there. You could probably you probably scoop some of that up and put it on here like that. I don't want to lose some of my lines. I'm losing some of that uh, pinky color that I had. Maybe I'll put little sparkles in there like that. <laughs> that looks fun, huh? Let's see. I 
have this pink cup out over here. Let me grab a stick there so I can maybe add some purpley colors, the lighter purple rather. It's like I don't want to start swiping. It's like, swiper, stop swiping. I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> Muddle my colors, and I don't want to do that. It's kind of neat. Spooky. Spooky house. And, you know, when I'm done, I might have to uh, let that dry and get, like, the sides or something or the back or something else. I don't know how well. There's a lot of little nooks and crannies in here, y'all. So, whoops, I bumped you. Here we go again with that camera angle. Hmm, let me see. All right, I'm not going to worry about the back. Well, I guess I better do it. Well, it's not the part that you see much, but since I got this paint sitting here, I might as well do it. Colors are kind of pretty. Dripping, a Halloween drippage. <laughs> Trying to get you in the camera here. It's not easy getting these camera angles. Let me set that over there and pick it up a different way. It likes to do what it wants to do. The dripping. I'm uh, all over the place with that because this is really weird in here. I'm gonna pour that out. And here come the sparkles are kind of dripping on down too. That's cool. Let's see. Since I didn't get a lot of that brighter purple in there, I want to pour some of that in here like this. I'm probably going to have a lot of paint on the inside of my little haunted house. It's kind of swirled to the left, to the left. <laughs> Get over there. It's kind of cool, even with the little pink dot there. You set it down and grab it from the other side. Let's see. I'm going to have to like, grab it from the doorway, I think. All right. What a weird angle, you guys. Sorry if I'm, if you're not getting all this right. I'm just, this is so weird, this angle here. I just kind of grab it like that, I guess. Well, with any look, it'll turn out good. Get the windows there. I like that little orange popping through. It's pretty that way. Getting my cell action going on, actually. It's kind of cool. I do notice that the black doesn't seem to be popping through very much. More of a purple house. So let me grab the black and see if I can add a little bit of that in here. Stir that up. And I don't want a lot of black, but... Maybe it would be nice to kind of have a little black coming off the roof a little bit, dripping on down in a spooky manner. Be a fun project if you had kids. I mean, I have a teenage son. This isn't something he's interested in, but I just thought I'd do it. And Put this up on YouTube for you guys. Have some fun painting, fun stuff. All right. Let's see, and I got. To, I have no silicone in any of this, so I thought I'd tell you guys that. Mm hmm. Covering up some of them holes there. Got 
curious to see what it looks like when it dries. Hmm. Just trying to figure out how I'm going to do that without, uh, let's see if I pat this back here since I'm not really going to see much of that on the back side, but I still want it to look nice. So let me kind of blend this in a little bit with some of this other purple I have sitting there. All we can do is hope for the best, y'all, and uh, hopefully it dries nice. And at least you got the base coat on, you know. We got this base coat on, so let me flip around the camera here. So that way, when um, when we go to, uh, when it dries, if we don't really like everything we see, we can uh, kind of paint over it. Get in that corner there. Let that come down the roof. That's kind of neat, isn't it, you guys? Let's see. Nothing like uh, watching paint dry. <laughs> and it's hard, too. I'm right-handed, so I'm really kind of... See what I'm doing here. Help it along. I think that looks neat. Almost like little old haunted house shingles, you know. <laughs> All right, let me get uh, some purple on this side here, and we're going to. Uh, Pour the rest of that on this side and get under the roof there. See what this roof looks like. Yeah, it's good. All right, let's pour this, guys. Come over the little step. <laughs> All right. Help it along, get over the edge. Get that paint off there, it's really dripping. All right, let me set this sucker down. All right, move this paint over. I left the paint sitting out because I didn't know. Oh, I just got all over my hair. I didn't know if uh, I would be needing to get more out. Another thing I think I'm going to do is wait till it's done, wait till it's dry, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some sparkles on it. That way they don't get drowned in there, because I can see over here. I can't show you just yet, because I got the gloves on, but I can tell that I want to add a little pink here. All right, now I'm going to tip this and show you guys what it looks like. I don't want to, uh, let's see, some of that black too. Of course, we all know how it dries differently, you know, things really dry different and the paints really move. So I don't know what we're in for. We shall see. All right, you know what? I'm going to call it a day on that. Put a little bit of black right here. Let that run down. All right, let me get my gloves off and show you guys what this looks like. I'm going to take these sticks here, set them down. And since uh, I didn't put any... Oh, I think that looks really good, you guys. It's a little dark on this side, so let me add a little pink here and I do like it dark I mean actually it's Halloween so it's going to be dark <laughs> the dark side <laughs> getting my drippage going wrong so I don't want it to drip like that I don't want to mess up something good that I had so all right okay let me get the gloves off we'll take a closer look everybody actually really fun. I was having a lot of fun doing that. 
Let me adjust the sliding over here and I'll take you down. Let's go downtown. Here we go. All right, let me move this camera thing I have. All right, here we go. And then we can paint that bat too once this dries. Let that stuff drip down. I do like that, that bright pink, orange, whatever is showing through. Let's get some close ups here. I think the roof turned out really good, you guys. Let's see if I can get the light in there. There we go. Look at that. Webbing. Spooky. Ooh. I guess I'll have to wait till it dries before I can see any more. I do see the gold coming through. Not in too many places, which is good. And then that hot pinky orange up here, too. Let me move the camera light and see what this side looks like. Pretty good, pretty good. Well, this looks like one cool looking haunted house, you guys. All right. Let me go see what this looks like when it dries, everybody. Ooh, let's go inside. Hi guys, I'm outside and here is the finished product of my haunted house. I'll tell you what I did. Um, a lot of paint went down in here when I was pouring and then uh, there was just way too much paint in there and I was worried about getting it all warped or seeping through because it's just cardboard. So what I did was I tipped it this way to get the paint out and then I took another brush and sopped up the paint that was inside there and then ultimately just painted the floor purple from it <laughs> but um so when I did that the put when I painted that it tipped it up to get the paint out it actually um got all over and, and not a design I wanted so what I did was I put some fresh paint here and here where the marks were from the drippage and just put some sparkles over it kind of looks cobwebby on top and then I painted the bat Actually, it turned out pretty good, you guys. Um, so I hope I'm getting some good light in here. And here's the roof. Let me move myself here. Try to get some good pictures there. And the back is just kind of plain. It's kind of cool. Halloween-y. Not bad for, you know, cheap little piece of cardboard. Just have some fun. Like I said, if you guys have kids or something, this is... Definitely a way to go, you know, hand your kids some pour cups, different colors or, you know, and then what you can do is when you get to the front, just give them a paintbrush or something and then you can like pour this part and tip it upside down and then use a paintbrush on the rest of it so it doesn't get all over. So lesson learned, you live and learn. So it's kind of cool, it almost looks like a graveyard back there. <laughs> And then I took a straw because it gathered up in here. So I took a straw and then blew that out of there. I'm trying to get my shadow out of the way. All right, you guys. Okay. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween early. Ciao, everybody.